dear brothers and sisters today we have the song of praise magnificat and as we go through this the praise of god it spontaneously spills out of mary's heart because she recollects all the blessings she experienced in her life and this song of praise it entails many elements it is a personal thanksgiving and it invokes the eternal covenant made between between god and the people of abraham or also it brings the connection with the prayer we see in the first book of samuel chapter 2 the words of hanna we had the responsorial psalm hanna also praises god with similar words this song of praise dear friends it articulates it presents before us a vision of god's kingdom because the elements narrated here they are never parallel to what the world thinks because it is speaking about lifting up the lowly the poor and it tells us the rich people they will be sent away empty and the powerful rulers they will tumble down so what the world thinks as greatness maybe this mary's song of praise it is turning our thoughts upside down and also there are people who treat this passage as a threshold we cross over to enter into the theological themes of the gospel according to luke dear friends when we go through the gospel according to luke it has a very special theology it is always oriented towards the people who are rejected it is always focusing on the people who are sinners people who are marginalized so this magnificat mary song of praise it ultimately presents the theology of the gospel according to luke because as we go through the gospel we would see many events connected to what has been narrated here we say together hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah the 10 lepers Jesus healing the 10 lepers they cried aloud son of david have mercy on us and they were healed and the gospel of luke it gives us the parable of the lost sheep the shepherd when the shepherd finds the lost sheep it is said he rejoices over that sheep more than over the hun- over the 99 and also it is giving us the parable of the son who returns the prodigal son the father celebrates his return and there are such several episodes in the gospel according to luke which would tell us god always stands by the side of the people who are rejected people who are sinners and people who are broken we say together hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah so what the world considers as success it does not matter on god's spiritual scale that is the content of mary's song of praise and also as i said mary recollects all the blessings god showered on her and also on her cousin elizabeth abundant immense love of god they experienced in their life 
That is why we read in verse 49, Mary says, The mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Dear brothers and sisters, she attributes nothing to her own merit. Because she is well aware, she is convinced, if she has been chosen as the mother of God, if people are praising her as the mother of God, if Jesus resides in her heart and in her womb, it all comes from above. So she does not attribute anything to her own credit. We read in the letter to the Romans, chapter 9, verse 16, St. Paul tells us, letter to the Romans 9, 16, it depends not on human will or exertion, but on God who shows mercy. And again, Psalm 37, verse 4, Psalm 37, verse 4, Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Second book of Samuel, chapter 7, verse 18. There we see a prayer made by David. It's a very beautiful prayer. He prays in this way. Then King David went in and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, O Lord God? And what is my house? that you have brought me thus far. See, a very beautiful, a very meaningful prayer that King David makes. He is convinced that God has lifted him high. God has lifted his family high. And he is asking God, who am I that I have received all these blessings? My family has received all these blessings. So dear brothers and sisters, the same spirituality, the same attitude we would see in Mary's song of praise. She never attributes anything to her own credit. But she is saying, the mighty one has done great things for me. When we look into our own life, let us ask ourselves, Am I able to say the mighty one has blessed me? The mighty one has done great things in my life and in my family. Everything, every blessing, every grace, it all springs from the sanctuary. It all comes from above. Let us say it together. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mary says, holy is his name. We read in the letter to the Romans, chapter 10, verse 13. Dear brothers and sisters, this promise, it is repeated in the Bible. We would come across this promise so often. The letter to the Romans 10, 13, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. During the Eucharistic hour, we had the word from the letter to the Philippians, chapter 2. The name of Jesus, the name is above every other name. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name. Mary was so convinced that God's name is always holy. She was convinced that God's name, the power of his name, stands beyond everything else. That is why she says, holy is his name. This promise we would see again in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 21. Same words, the book of Acts 2, 21. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Again, the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 32. The book of Joel 2.32 Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So dear brothers and sisters, this promise, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. It begins from the Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament. And it is extended to the letter to the Romans and also to the book of the Acts. Frequently, 
the others remind us of the power of god's name and mary acknowledges that power in in her song of praise we say together hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah so this is the promise everyone who calls on the name of the lord shall be saved but we would see something different in the gospel according to matthew chapter 7 verse 21 that jesus reminds us of something that we have to take care of not everyone who says to me lord lord will enter the kingdom of heaven but only the one who does the will of my father in heaven so we are attending this this service we are listening to the word of god and we believe when we call upon the name of the lord we shall be saved but jesus adds something to the, to that promise only the one who does the will of my father in heaven they will be saved hallelujah 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 mary was so confident to say holy is his name why because she was always carrying out the will of abba father and she was always responding to that will obedient to that will so dear friends when we are carrying out god's will in our life when when we say it is enough for me what god decides what god desires of me it is enough when we are developing such an attitude in our life then we also will be confident enough to say holy is his name and we will be eager to trust in the power of his name that is what happened in the life of mary that is what happened in the life of elizabeth say together hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah 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 so now only 2 3 days for christmas two more days the birth of the lord we are preparing ourselves to receive jesus add magnificat mary's song of praise to your life to your prayers dear brothers and sisters it is very important to count the blessings we have received and thank the lord it is always important not to forget what we have received from him there are people who say i worked hard so i have enough i studied hard so now i have the results there are so many people who credits everything to their own merit so today mary song of praise it reminds us not to forget that we have received everything from above that word is very familiar for us is there anything that you have not received first letter to the corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 St Paul is asking us what do you have that you did not receive if you received it why do you boast as if it were not a gift a person who truly reflects on magnificat mary's song of praise he or she will never boast because they know that everything comes from above everything is a gift there might have been times when we boasted as if the blessings we have received were not a gift so today the lord is asking us to have a change in our attitude we say together hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah so dear brothers and sisters add mary song of praise to your life to your prayers and count all the blessings you have received from above you also will be saved from all your difficulties when you call upon the name of the lord and also when you carry out his will god bless us